and start the stream. Hello everyone, this is Mike. And this is Addie. Uh, we decided to do something a little bit new today and uh, play a game together and stream it because we hate each other. No, you're always begging me to get on and play. Whatever, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Come play with me, why don't you ever play with me? Eh. Well, you don't play with me. It's... Anyways, moving on. This is not time for this bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to play a game called uh, Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's just something that looked interesting for me, and uh, it's Sherlock Holmes, so obviously Addy has some sort of interest in it. Sherlock! So let's start. Seahorse. Horses! That is most that is most sophisticated like fish bowl ever. Can we have that? No. Dang. That looks expensive. And fragile. Yes, very, very fragile. Debase. Yes, yeah, because you all like a debase. <laughs> the base is dropped. <laughs> like a debase. A slap a debase. A slap a debase. <laughs> trouble when you randomly go into a random attic. How big is that house? The attic's bigger than our apartment. That's sad. La, la, la. Ow! Ah! It's kind of weird. He what says, says ow. And it's all? What? Somebody in the subtitling business needs to get fired today. Mm -hmm. la, la, la. Gonna break it. Like every other child. Maybe it's correct. a book about pirates with a treasure map. No, I don't think so. I can't do PC gaming. The graphics throw me off. How do they throw you off? I wish that I had sit. seen through all your lies. Yeah, oh, bad. start I mean, from the game, beginning, I mean, not the middle. It's a game design more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to pick up my pen to relate the most disturbing episode of my life thus far. It all began early one morning in 1898, when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis so of Conning. book of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Where have these kids been living? <laughs> Apparently in the, in our alternate dimension. Watson, my dear fellow, we can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too, which pleases me. Have you really solved the theft, Holmes? And so quickly? I have indeed, Watson. And believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but once again the outcome has contradicted him. After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. Really? Ah, you see, but you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked and there is a strong smell of burning from within. A few seconds later, the master of the house himself, 
the robbed Marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, arrives and unlocks the door using the soul key. A fire has started inside the room, but they have managed to arrive in time to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis realizes that the famous uh, Samoan a, necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, right. has now disappeared. In order to explain, narration, narration, let us narration. confirm my theory before the arrival of Inspector Baines. While he is gone, I'm going to play around. U W A S D. I'll be up all that D now. Look around, look around so pretty. Ooh. Reach! going clearly I know what I'm doing ooh space bar does something It told me to move around. Look at the broken showcase and click on it. Oh. I wonder where a second go. This window was cut with a diamond. Wanted to do it. Uh -huh. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. Interesting. Let's extract it. This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. It means somebody was wearing gloves. Oh. This window was cut you with a see how tiny. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I just did. You did stuff. God. <laughs> Go check out the spyglass on the mantle. Yeah, let's do it. Mantle's over here, right? Yeah. Come on, idiot. Let's check the window. Ooh, yes. A mark, undoubtedly, made by a diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. <gasps> All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. I don't know what you guys are you Gotta do it the way they want you to do it, man. But I want to freelance it, man. Murder fine glass. Oh. And then a pocket knife. It matches. Go check out the fish tank. See the good things on the floor here. Let us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. There. There's a handprint. There's a handprint. It looks like a handprint. There's a tiny handprint. These sooty prints were left by a tiny hand. I don't understand why these music scores are covered with soot. It was a monkey. It was a okay, trained monkey. Source, first person. It's cool. <laughs> Look, I can run. Run. Uh, uh, that's the point and click part, I guess. Oh. 
So if you want to do it old school and just point and click everywhere. <gasps> What's behind there? You can leave the room now. Okay, looks like, yeah, the sixth sense or whatever. When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the fire, but they didn't see the thief. This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually when the door was opened by the servants. When the servants arrived at the do oh, this door... Oops. Talking to him just mean. Oh, I press. I keep pressing. What do you think, Sorry. Holmes? Let us search the room before the police get here. We might throw some light onto all this. Hashtag, hashtag no oh, look at these burns over here. Footprints. You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. Nothing Heading to towards here. his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Because he sucks. Strange. We're a monkey. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. Maybe he's the worst thieves ever. The fire started here, just beneath the bell pull. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. The chest wasn't opened. The necklace wasn't in it. Thanks for clarifying. We've already looked at the window. The on the floor. These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself. What's that right there? Looks like a candle. See something in the corner. A candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. Not very well kept, this aquarium. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. Oh, this now beautiful thing is now completely useless. This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. As the theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. Strange, there aren't any prints, yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. Ah, Mr. Holmes, you're already here. Good morning, Inspector. You've arrived just in time. <laughs> Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, always in the nick of time. Ah, ha, ha, I know that ha. satisfied expression, uh, Mr. Holmes. No, but you can't Have you anything. already solved the case? It's possible. We have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. He is a true acrobat. But what I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one? <laughs> I do not think so. The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. I don't know how, but there is no other way. Half a point for the doctor, nil for the inspector. Still I'm pleased to bed. see that you find the situation amusing, Mr. Holmes. Very well then, I explain. always find it amusing. Dr. Watson was correct when he mentioned acrobatics, but he is mistaken about the nature of the acrobat. As for you, Baines, you're quite incorrect, as the thief was in the room when the servants entered. Explain, for heaven's sake, Mr. Holmes. Watson, how could a thief be missed in the middle of eight men? I don't know. Because he is very small? Stop teasing us, Holmes. Exactly. Because he is small. Small and remarkably agile. You're thinking of a monkey? Called it. And a trained monkey at that. Without a doubt, a Leontopicathus rosalia from Central America. Wow, look, a word I've never heard of. 
the animal had been hidden inside the room for several hours, calmly awaiting the signal from his master. Once night had fallen and the room was empty, a high-frequency whistle alerted the monkey that it was time to begin the procedure for which he had been trained. Oh, see, this the monkey emerged from ridiculous. his hiding place and used the point of a diamond to open the glass cabinet and steal the necklace. He headed across to the window by the chimney, but knocked over the stool, which in turn knocked aside the fire guard and started the fire. The frightened monkey jumped from the chimney by swinging from the bell pull, thus alerting the house servants. He then went to the window and began to use his diamond to cut a hole, but was interrupted by the staff trying to gain entry via the door, and he panicked again. He ran across the piano, scattering the music scores onto the floor, before hiding inside the chandelier, knocking over a candle. Finally, the servants and the Marquis entered the room, leaving the door open while they put out the fire. It was during the confusion that our agile little thief made his escape through the doorway. As simple as that. A brilliant explanation! Bravo, Holmes! Man, he believes and that the necklace. so quickly. Bootlegger. I can see it from here, my friends. It's right in front of us. We have searched the room from top to bottom, Holmes. How were we unable to find it? because we paid insufficient attention to the only victim of this affair. What victim? No one is dead? Yes, Watson. A poor goldfish, whose destiny was to die, crushed by one of the most precious necklaces in England. The aquarium is just beneath the chandelier, I understand. The little monkey had likely hung the necklace around its neck and lost it when he leapt from the chandelier. The jewels fell into the aquarium, where they remain now. Marquis, here is your necklace, intact, just a little wet. Mr. Holmes! This brilliant demonstration does credit to your reputation. Thank you so much, Marquis. Do you wish to verify the authenticity of your jewel? No, I recognize it. I have spent many hours admiring it, you know. Good. I will return it to its box and... Inspector! A bank has just been held up! You must follow me at once! Orders of Scotland Yard! What times! Sirs, duty calls. My regards, Marquis. And well done again, Mr. Holmes. There, the necklace is in its box. We've lost enough time here. Let's go home, Watson. Ah, very well, as you wish. A good day to you, Marquis. With pleasure, gentlemen. And once again, thank you. All right. Most ridiculous story ever. Man, yeah, that's... That... I don't know about the monkey thing, but... I mean, everything else made sort of sense. Yeah, kind of, maybe, sort of. Yeah, I mean, it's... Here's the thing. Who was the master of the monkey? Ah! Oh! So, wouldn't you want to go after him and stop him before he did it again? Oh, that damn monkey. <laughs> this morning's newspaper... Holmes, have you read this article about you? No, Watson, not yet, and I won't have time to. Read it before you leave. It's outrageous. If you insist. Oh, you're gonna make me walk over here just to read this? Sure comes. Fiasco. Okay. Wait, what? I guess they say it's okay. Watch this. It was locked. Monkey. Is it? No thief was following from the room. Blah 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 blah.
If you were copy. But then he just. He never. He never checked the authenticity of it. Woodville, French culinary expert and bagpipe player, might be our next king. That's not so shocking, my dear fellow. You know exactly to which article I'm referring, Holmes. How can Farley dare to tarnish your reputation like that? You know, Watson, that wherever glory walks, jealousy is bound to follow. As for the forgery of the necklace, I suspect that we shall soon be enlightened in this regard. Come in, Inspector Baines. The door's open. Ah... Mr. Holmes, how did you know I was here? You are one of our rare visitors who avoids the second to last step of the stairs, which creaks dreadfully. And if I add the clinking of the handcuffs at your belt, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Inspector? Have you read that, Rag? Inspector, I assume that you have the fake necklace with you. It's why you're here. Your superiors would like me to examine it. Indeed. They would like you to confirm or deny putting this fake in the box. Can't that wait? I must go to the house of Lord Peregrine Maitland, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. Oh, I guess I have no choice with the talk. Inspector, about this. can you explain this slander? Has the necklace of the Samoas really been replaced by a fake? I don't know how the reporter got hold of the information, but it's true. About the necklace, of course. I wouldn't permit myself to question the integrity and honesty of Mr. Holmes. The necklace is a forgery? Impossible! I saw the Marquis authenticated before my very eyes, before Holmes returned it to its place. Mr. Holmes, the Marquis believes Osmond Farley's theory. I shouldn't be surprised if the reporter isn't behind all this slander about you. He's a freelancer, well known for his explosive and subjective articles. In any case, the Marquis assures us that you were the last person to have the necklace in your hands. Let's return to the Marquis's house, Holmes. I'm sure that we'll have no trouble in taking apart this theory. It is unnecessary. Such allegations collapse on their own, like one of Mrs. Hudson's soufflés. Let us leave the police to solve this problem and turn our attention to the matters in hand. Perhaps you are right, Holmes. And the Marchioness? She is beside herself. Without the necklace, her marriage is compromised. It is the principal item of the young woman's dowry. What a lovely marriage. <laughs> okay. Out the item, the marriage is bullshit. How? Holmes, <laughs> the forgive me for insisting, but don't you want to examine the fake jewelry? Watson, I have an appointment, and it's out of the question that I arrive late. It will only take you a couple of minutes. You really must quell the suspicions put forward in this appalling oh, article. To read the if you will allow me, Inspector, be my guest. Oh. Very well. If I must. Talk to the inspector. I cannot leave now. He's gonna talk to the inspector. I don't wanna. You have to. He has a speech bubble. I don't wanna. What do you think, Holmes? Yes. It's right there. These three pearls are of poor quality. This pearl is too small. It is not in its place here. This pearl is a different color. Too many defects. This necklace is a fake. This is nothing but a vulgar copy, and at a glance it would appear that the forger has intended for it to be seen as such. How could we have been fooled by such a blatant imitation? I don't understand. Yes, how is it possible? Holmes, do you have a theory about this? 
I have absolutely no idea. You insisted that I examine the necklace, and I have done so. Now it is important that I keep my appointment. I'm sure, Inspector, that you will throw some light on this affair. Holmes. You may accompany me, Watson, if you care to do so. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'll keep you informed as to my inquiries. Goodbye, Inspector. Yeah, what a lucky person. Usually at this point, you mentioned Faye, he's the last bishop, one to do it. I'm going to have to take you in, Are we going yeah. to his home? Yes, the Bishop Apparently of Knightsbridge. I put his address like, oh, on a map of London yeah, on my desk. Would you get it for me? I'll come back later. All right, Holmes. What? What? I don't want... <sighs> Suddenly I'm Watson. I don't know why. <coughs> Look at the view outside. People! And a carriage. The carriage. The work table. Where Holmes analyzes things. Oh, it specifically says water, acid. Don't mix them. Look at all the uh, disguises. All right. Oh, you're in his bedroom. This bust was used to fool Colonel Moran <laughs> during the case of the empty house. Yeah, just, he totally like just walked the entire other side of the room just Glitch. to talk about that. Glitch. That's hilarious. Nothing else of importance here. And this is how my dear friend and colleague treats his client's letters. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, damn. I don't think I might as well be working anymore. Watson's room. Here is where I write my stories about Holmes's cases. And I've got work to do. So I let you know that his room is not that important. Moving on. Have you found my map of London? Oh, there it is. I have found your map. Just to let you know. I clicked on something. Oh, God. <laughs> The police? Already? How did you know? May we see the Bishop of Knightsbridge? Yes. Yes, of course. But come in. What has happened, Reverend? What? I... I don't know. It was last night, I think. I only just arrived, and I have made this macabre discovery. My God, how horrible. I haven't called anyone. How did you know that? Holmes, look! The bishop, appallingly mutilated. How dreadful. Well, mutilated damn. and killed. He was such a good man. How could anyone be so brutal? Look at him. He is barely recognizable. How could any of God's children be responsible for that? They were evidently unworthy children, Reverend. Now do please try to calm yourself and focus, uh, because we will need your assistance. Do you have any idea as to the motive behind this? I haven't had time to do an inventory, but nothing appears to have been stolen. And anyway, His Excellency didn't own anything of great value. I don't know what else I can tell you. Note this down, please, Doctor. Doctor? But you aren't the police? No, Reverend. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We are here at the request the of the Bishop. In that case, I must ask you to leave, and not to touch anything. I must get in touch with the authorities without further delay. A reverend, when the inspectors of Scotland Yard find themselves at a dead end, which they quite often do, I assure you, then they turn to me for help. If you allow us to continue our investigation, then you shall have the answers to all of your questions. Out of the question! I don't even know you! I'm going to call the police, whether you like it or not. It would be better for everyone, reverend, if you kept your temper. Watson, are you taking notes? This affair promises to be a complex one. Therefore, we must not overlook the slightest detail. Yes, Holmes. I am keeping a meticulous set of notes. 
I have created a very clever deduction board. One thing we can be sure of at the moment is that this crime was not for gain. The Reverend has informed us that nothing valuable was stolen, and indeed, it would seem that the Bishop had nothing of any worth to take. Very good, Watson. Do continue. Do continue, because I'm just going to do my show, do my stuff no matter what. Well, none. Well, the Bishop didn't own anything about you. All right. Oh, I guess I did. Look at dead bodies! You're almost a little bit too excited. <laughs> a bottle of whiskey. I can make out fingerprints stained with blood and dirt. Oh, his, his body's over here trying to get into a spot. Her baby! Her baby! His fingers are broken! The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. A little graphic there, huh? Just a little bit. A piece of rope that was used to tie up that poor man. The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. I just wanted to say that again. Go up. His stomach is covered in scratches. Quite evidently, they weren't made recently. So, these wounds were not made by his murderers. His forearms have been ripped. Pieces of skin have been torn off. What do you think, Watson? I'd say that he was eaten alive. Yet I've noticed a curious degeneration of the skin tissue around the wounds. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. His mouth is covered in blood, and I can make out strips of skin between his teeth. My dear friend, everything points to this man having gnawed at his own forearms. That's unbelievable, Holmes. Oh, that's interesting. His chest has been lacerated, I would say, with a very sharp and fine blade. The furnace. Oh wait, his feet. These burns are terrible. This poor man was tied just below the knees. To stop him from walking, certainly, but mostly to free his feet. His feet have been burned. Hmm. My first impression is that he wears a size nine shoe. You! But what does it matter, Holmes? My God, Holmes, this man was horribly tortured. Finger, there's a finger. What? No, look, finger. What side there? Oh, wow. The finger. Apparently, it doesn't belong to the Bishop of Knightsbridge. How dreadful. All right, moving on. Something is missing Come here. here. My child. Oh, yes? And what might that be? His shoes. Watson, his shoes are missing. A broken bottle of whiskey. However, the Bishop of Knightsbridge was known for his sobriety. It would seem that the brutes who tortured the Bishop to death were intoxicated with alcohol. There is blood on this paperweight. This paperweight was used to crush the victim's fingers. Broken phial and blood near the neck. What a strange smell. Ooh, chemical components, I think. This metal rod is for fastening the chilies. It's a silice designed to bruise the person wearing it. The bishop wore it as repentance. The rope. The rope. A whip? No. It is a discipline for self-flagellation. 
This very pious man must have had the habit of mortifying his flesh as a means of repentance. Yeah, this dude's creepy. Mm -hmm. Cray cray. Uh oh. Mm. Uh, I need something. Pretty sure Impossible to open it. Reverend, yeah. I'm missing something, an implement with which to open this chest. Could you tell me where to find it? No, go to the devil! What are you afraid of, Reverend? What is inside the chest? I'm not afraid of anything. In fact, I do have the necessary implements, but if I have to give them to anyone, it will be to a representative of the law and no one else. Ah, you're annoying. Go back to the picture. Oh, I got it. I really just want me to look at the picture, do you? The picture of Peregrine Maitland, commander of the infantry brigade of Her Majesty's guards at Waterloo. The Bishop of Knightsbridge has the same name as his ancestor, an illustrious family. A surgical scalpel covered in blood. There isn't any doubt the wounds on the bishop were administered with this scalpel. There's some on the floor. You have no it. right to search here. Where are you? What are you going to do about it? Watch where you're putting your feet, Watson. Have you noticed these prints upon the ground? Well, yes, those muddy marks. <coughs> See here, Watson, footprints can often provide more vital information than the very best of informants. Yes, if you know how to make them talk, that is. It's child's play, Watson. We will begin by excluding the contaminating prints, which are yours and mine from where we came in, and those of our dear Reverend, who was so impatient to call the police. I need something. Size nine. Size nine. Size nine. So something that's not size nine. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. This print came from an expensive pair of shoes and it seems recent. It is not a laborer's shoe. Yeah. A fragment of stone. Peculiar. Well-worn shoes with an odd pattern on the soles. Hmm. That's a good question. I should probably, uh... Three. Looks like three, yeah. Yeah, I can count. Perfect. We now know that there were three crooks. Question two, who did the foot, foot, what did the foot bits reveal? <laughs> uh, one man joined, one man left wearing different shoes. Strange but true. One of the crooks was wearing a different pair of shoes when he left here. Therefore, we have three men who came in and left again, but one of them was wearing a different pair of shoes from the ones which he came in with. So, all we have to do is look for a workman who likes Italian shoes. <laughs> what? You have no right to search here. Yeah, no one cares. This door has not been forced. Where does it lead, Reverend? To His Excellency's room. There is just a mattress and a stool. I'm trying. <laughs> the bishop's bedroom. It is very austere. Nothing in particular here. Closed. 
The veranda door hasn't been forced. Strange. Reverend, might I have the key? No! You have no authority here. Let me call the police. Perhaps we should listen to him, Holmes. Perhaps you should let me get on with this, Watson. Closed. Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. So it didn't have anything. Shoes, they have that stuff. Has to be one of the. Yep. The value was it searched? You think they came specifically for his shoes? I don't know if it's poor and like they were poor kind of thing. Mm. That seems a little bit weird. Maybe they did just come back for a shoe. It's the only thing that makes sense. I think someone hired them. Alright. That said it. I cannot leave now. Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Maybe it's oh, there's more. Uh. There's more to it. See murders. Save. Let's... Mm. Well, it has to be the case, because like he didn't resist torture and he didn't couldn't stand it because he did it to himself all the time. Okay. I don't think they got what they wanted. Well, maybe it is. Right. They made them. He made. He, yeah. They made him drink, drink it. it. Yeah. yeah. I'm missing a couple more though. Search the room again! Let's see if there's anything Search else everything! Did you look on the desk? Yeah, I did look at the desk. Let's check this out. You didn't look at that. This stove is filled to overflowing. That wasn't much. You have no right to search here! No one cares. You're useless. Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Did you get something wrong? That's a, I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know how it works. I feel like we're missing something, though. Let's see, not at himself. Seems a little, a little bit more than. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe they really didn't search for shoes. I think they were hired by someone. Still work. 
murders made Bishop drink blood. That's a little much. Yeah, the second one. Well, we already have that. Gear Mysteries! This is where we're stuck. <laughs> what else could we possibly find in... I don't know, there's something else with this. How do something else? Behind the sh Behind? Behind you. Nope. There's nothing in here. There's literally nothing in here. It's closed. Closed. Bloody print right there. Oh, shit, I have a glass on it. I want to leave. It won't let me in. Do we have to look more at the body? Impossible to open it. I need something. He still, he still has the key that we need for it. He won't give it up. That wasn't the best thing to do. Try and leave now. I cannot leave now. We're missing something. We're either missing something or something's wrong. Shall we go back to the thing? There's something we gotta have wrong. Okay, the bishop's shoes were missing. One of the murderers left wearing different shoes. The bishop's that means shoes. One they, of the murderers came back. Somebody had. Click on load that one. The murders are poor. There you go. Okay. And then we're still. This is a war. This is wrong. So maybe you resisted it. I think they had the first one right, and then that one. Then Bishop Murders didn't give it that one. Yeah, but that, that's wrong. That's not right. Perfect. Oh, he's just, it is oh, evident the that the Bishop of the Knightsbridge's killers were after something specific, and that they did not find it. Reverend, I shall ask you one more time. Open the chest. The item they were seeking must still be inside. It is unlikely that they will let this matter rest. They will most certainly return to finish what they started. And I'm telling you once more, the chest is locked and shall remain so. Very well. We have reached an impasse. You are a stubborn man, Reverend. Watson, accompany our friend to the police station and return with Inspector Baines. Baines and no one else. I shall wait for you here. What the hell? Go. What's wrong with Alone at last. Now I can continue my investigation. Force the door open. Good. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. And it starts. Gotta bend the other part for the too.
<laughs> we say this is easy, and apparently we're making I'm making this like ridiculously harder. Than what are you doing? Can. I'm trying to get it to this this part. Okay. Are you gonna say easy, or are you just gonna? You're doing it wrong. Well, just then tell me. <laughs> okay, let me try. I don't think that's. Oh, well, 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 you can press validate. You can press validate. That's not right. Start again. Jesus Christ. You can't move it up more, more from there. What are you supposed to line it up with? That. Or some of them. That's not right. Stop. Starting. No, 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 do the triangle thingy and then try again. Yeah. Oh, I feel silly. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Okay, down. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Did yeah, it? I didn't think about it until after after you started. There isn't anything oh, wait, much that difficult. makes more sense. It must <laughs> be what we're doing. A reading yeah, or meditation. Yeah. Well, yeah, I see it. I saw it, and I was just that like, took forever. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> An ink stain, quite fresh. Mm. This stain is just on the edge of the rug. Let's see. There is nothing on the floor, yet the ink must have soaked through the rug. This inkwell was tipped over recently. I think the rug was switched because it's on the other side. There's more on the ground. No, I said it soaked through the rug. I know, but it, look where the inkwell is and look where the stain is. Look, you got, there's this thing. Yeah, like, yeah, that's from the other. And yeah, that's from the other side, but it can't be flipped because of the fact that it was soaked through. Like you still would be able to see it even if you flipped it over. No, I mean it switched around. Switched around. Right? Yeah. Oh, there's just one more thing on the floor. I know, I was trying to move so I could. You're not doing it right. Josh. So I was trying to move. An ink stain. The yeah, ink right? stain on the floor comes from the ink on the rug, but they are not in the same I place. Saying, you kept saying someone has moved the, the rug like, recently. Yeah, it flipped over. You mean, yeah, you mean turn rotated. Yes. <laughs> it's a better way of saying it. That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. Certain stones have been marked out, just like a chessboard. Mm -hmm. That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. Certain stones have been marked out, just like a chessboard. Mm -hmm. I need something. 
Check the desk. Uh, there's nothing on the desk. That is curious. There is something let's, strange let's... I need. That is curious. I need to something. You have to go out. I'm trying to find. I was wondering if I already had it though. Mm -mm. I don't think there's anything else out here. Yeah, it's an item I have. Use the item that's here again. That is curious. I need. Click on it. it Nothing. Got it. That is yeah, I, already I need. That is I need. I need something. That I need. Apparently, someone wanted to hide this statue. This horse resembles a large chess piece. Can I pick it up? You really maybe have to do that the second time? Just there is a up? message underneath this statue. Let's see. What a lack of imagination. Use your passion for chess. The last square which, which the knight will place himself after having cornered all the others will be the right one. I love you. This message was written by a woman, but for whom was it intended? Interesting, this chess game. That's not right. Start again. Damn. Oh. oh, you have to get all the pieces covered. Yeah. Let's see. Start here. Person on Facebook. It's probably might be something important. Kids aren't reading the chat. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> I don't have it on the other side. Excuse 
this. Yeah. I'm not going away. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, we're not seeing anything. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, now it shows up. Yeah, I'm a Facebook guy. I'm a Facebook guy. Yeah, you're a Facebook guy. I'm going to also do this stupid thing. <laughs> Hello to uh, our I think, friend. I think I already did it wrong. <laughs> wrong. Do it again. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep going. I love how angry he gets. Uh oh. Uh. That's not right. Okay. Start again. Up. Can I go backwards? Oh, I can't go backwards. Crap. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's try it this way. This way, and this way, and this way, this way. You are so confusing. That's not right. Start again. <gasps> What'd you do? I, I didn't corner it. I'm pretty sure that's what the letter says. Ooh. Do it again. Because we're gonna cheat like every five seconds. Yeah. No, you gotta do this right. No, Jay. <laughs> so no, I'm not doing it anymore. Sizzle. No more. Sizzle. Sizzle. <laughs> Ding. Go there. Hi, my baby. Hi, my <laughs> And yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> no, it's wrong. Do it again. I need you to not pressure me so much. <laughs> gonna cover the board. We're supposed to cover the board, right? I don't know. Still go this way. I can still go this way. I can still go. If I go here, I can go. No. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. Told Start you. again. Damn. <laughs> Clearly, we do not know how to play chess, or at least this form of chess. Well, this is not a form of chess. This is like literally like, oh look, there's things. Do it. I don't understand. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> No, no you! <laughs> That's not right. Start again. Apparently I already did it horribly wrong. Just use the freaking six. I don't wanna! Do it! I don't wanna. Do it! I don't wanna. I don't wanna. We're gonna do this for like an hour. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. We have to go see that. Yeah, you don't remember when it comes out? No. It's sometime this year. If anyone listening, it's a movie. We don't know. Yeah, it's, it's something. Oh, I have plans for next Saturday. What? Doctor Who. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Did I mess up? Not yet. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Hey, uh, hey, I need you to believe me. Shh. Believe in That's me. That's not right. Me. Start He's again. Believe. Uh. This last piece should be the good one. It will have to be pulled free. <laughs> you just skip it. 
Get it. I need something. Needs. What last piece do I need? I need something. I need something. My face needs something. I need something. What the hell? Is that piece of I need something. I need something. Nah, just knife it out, basically. Yeah. April 24th. My love, what a beautiful spring. And what a marvelous day. Our dear youngest child's birthday. Every moment is so precious as our child blossoms, and without a doubt, he will soon be talking. I'm sure that his first words will be for you. He misses you so much as I do. Which I totally read that wrong. Are you sure what? you cannot get away on Sunday after Vespers? I thought that... Death. <laughs> no, keep going. There's more. I thought, 14th September, my darling. I know that you think I am insistent, but we absolutely must legitimize our reunion. No one cares. Oh, you douche. I was <laughs> going on with it. Rest assured, my dear, that Roger Chan, your position is not easy, but having thought tonight how about ours. Yes, yeah, Big Hero 6 is going to be awesome. Uh, but... Spooky chat. Da -da -da -da, children of mine, I cannot allow our children to be compromised. Blah blah. blah. Think about our law, man. Blah, blah blah. We gotta be husband and wife legally. This is gonna be real stuff. We wanna be a real family. Yeah. A packet of letters addressed to the Reverend. They were written by a woman who mentions his illegitimate children. Their affair isn't official. Perfect. I have you now, my wayward Reverend. <laughs> I thought my rendition of the letter was quite nice, thank you. I didn't say it wasn't bad. I just said that I wanted to move on. Ah, Watson, you were gone a terribly long time, and Inspector Baines isn't with you. I'm afraid not, Holmes. We were unable to find him. Dr. Watson would not allow me to contact any inspector other than this Baines. What manners! I am a man of the church. My dear Reverend, I notice that you are a chess lover. I trust you will excuse me, but I am never able to resist the appeal of a half-finished game. You are an expert at chess? Very well, then. What do you want now? As you might have guessed, resolving your small chess problem has allowed me to discover some very interesting letters. Letters? What do they say? Reverend, why hide these letters here and run the risk of the bishop mm. finding them? Holmes, what's in the letters? Not now, Watson. Riven has a baby. Where else could I have hidden them? My own chambers are too austere. They could offer no cover. I knew, however, that His Excellency, may he rest in peace, would not notice my game. The contents of the Bishop of oh. Knightsbridge's chest yeah, okay, interest oh. me greatly. Get me on board. Get Give on board. me the elements me. you hold, Reverend. Come here. Out of the Come question. Here, furry baby. Blackmail. I am a gentleman. And it would distress me to be obliged to pass this correspondence across to your superiors. Holmes, I know that the end justifies the means, but allow me to express some reservations about how you are proceeding. You say you're a gentleman, but I hear nothing but the words of a blackmailer. The stems that you are looking for are scattered about this room. Manage by yourself. I assume it was this damn small thing I've been looking at the entire game. Look, new magnifying glass, look at it. Look, there it is. It was literally obvious. I saw it a long time ago. Uh-huh. No, seriously, I saw it. It, didn't, it wouldn't let you pick it. I wonder if there's more around. Yep, there's more. All that for one. Keep looking, man. But there's so much. Uh... Oh, this stuff. Okay. Nope, no one cares. No one cares. Ow. Is there more in this room? Probably. Open sesame. Quick, 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 quick. Alright. 
You have won. Evidently, as I always do. What are you able to tell us about the Bishop of Knightsbridge's last days? Did anyone come to visit him? Did he seem worried, anxious? Do not omit the smallest detail. His nephew came to see him yesterday at His Excellency's request. I found this visit a little peculiar because the young man rarely visits his uncle. Do you know why that might be? Were they on bad terms? I don't think so. It's rather a consequence of his work. The young man is employed within the archive section of the Royal Library, which doesn't leave him with a lot of free time. Do you know the reason for his summons? No, but the conversation was very heated. It only lasted for a few minutes and ended with the nephew in a terrible rage. Interesting. I've answered your questions. Will you now let me contact the authorities? I'm afraid not, Reverend. Not just yet. Because I'm still All a right. douche. Now we can open the safe. Wait, there's one on each line. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Hold on. So this one, this one. Nope. Okay, so they can't be on the same tile. They can't be on the same level. Level. That makes sense. Okay. chess anymore. Same line of black. Same line. Uh oh, uh, god dang it, that's wow, that is ridiculous. that is ridiculous. Okay. And then the last one has to be white. Did you move it? So it can't be on that. So it has to be something in here. It can't be that one, it can't be that one. This one? No. Oh my god. No. Get that uh, third row up. Third row up. Wait, up here. Where? 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 
Left third row. Over, over. You mean column? Yeah. No, it takes back two. That's I'm not right. I'm trying to tell you to move that piece up. You can't just move. You can remove it, yeah. Squeaky. This doesn't seem right. It's not right. Yeah, that's not right at all. No, 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 that is not supposed to be on the third row. Okay, now everything's messed up. It's in, it's in line with that one. No. Oh, yeah, it's in line with that one, trust me. That's in line with that one. This is in line with that, and this is in line with that. Uh, let's move this one. I just moved this somewhere else. So it can't be there. And it can't oh, look, all is good. Skip it. I'm not skipping it. We gotta get through this. We're going to get through this. So close, so close, so close, so close. So I can't be aligned with that, I can't be aligned with that, I can't be aligned with that. Damn it! Does the dingo see anything? <laughs> Why are you asking? What are you doing to figure this out? Us! <laughs> okay? Stop being lazy. <laughs> This one fits. Yeah, that one doesn't fit. Wait, wait, nope. No. So here, yeah. here, here. Nope, because it's in line with this. That's in line with that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to move. We're gonna have to move one over somewhere um, let's put this one here um, let's take these two off put this one here take this one here and let's continue on from there okay so on the fourth line you can't put it there because it's in line with that but you can put it in line with this here you can't put it there because it's in line with that but you can put it here because it's in line with that and then now I can open the chest. Yeah! See? Oh, look at this! This Really? We have figured out. Here we are. I am eager to discover what remarkable treasure could justify such an act of barbarity. Extraordinary! This chest is impenetrable. How is it possible? No one other than the bishop should be able to open it. You open the chest with disconcerting ease, Holmes. I've seen and heard quite enough. This time you won't stop me. Catch him, Watson. What the? But why? Run, Watson. Hurry. Move, Ferris. <laughs> Do as I say. He's escaped. I hope that your motivations are founded, Holmes. I don't much like skirting around the edges of the law like this. It is annoying. Let's leave without delay. What have you found in the chest, Holmes? 
What in there is so precious for these men to commit such terrible acts? The Reverend was telling the truth. Nothing important was locked inside the chest, apart from a few religious items which are hardly worth stealing. So, we haven't made any headway. Perhaps the police will. By the time the police arrive, we shall be a long way from here, Watson. We are leaving. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just get the hell out of here. Let me walk. What should we do next, Holmes? Let us return to Baker Street as quickly as possible. Let's go home. Run away! Validate. Strategically run away. Bling. We have crossed London at a breakneck speed. We could have knocked someone over. And naturally, I had to pay the cabbie out of my own pocket. Watson, stop complaining. We have to analyze the clues Dick. found at the bishop's house. Like, I care not for your problem. I just spit a bunch of money. Ah, shut up. No, it is unnecessary. It, is that necessary? Yes. The thing I'm looking at? That is. It wouldn't let me pick it. Finger, do the finger first. I'm that morbid. It was bit off. Tooth marks, rather deep ones. I'd say of incisors and a canine. Fragments of skin, a phalanx. This finger wasn't cut off, it was ripped off. I can see something. I can see something. I can see something. Grab the tweezers. Can I grab anything? Uh, where's the. Careful. Black and damp earth under the nail. Tooth marks, rather. Okay, there we go. No, I can't do that. Puts water on it. No, I can't. <laughs> Tooth marks, fragments of skin, a phalanx. This finger. No, I can't do that. You can't do that. Zoom in. You can't zoom you in. See the knob right there? No. The... Okay, look up by the acid. Down. Over. Oh, left of the acid. All right. That's not a. No, oh. you can't do that. That's. It's just this. Okay. Well, I think we're done with this. I haven't finished my analysis. Well, fine then. We can't brush it. This is a scalpel, some acid, some other stuff. Maybe we should use a scalpel. Tooth marks, rather. Fragments of skin. No, I can't do that. There we go. Bite marks on this severed finger. I am afraid I of the significance. The <laughs> did what they wanted. When they were faced with the bishop's refusal to cooperate, one of the gang shook his finger at him to indicate that he was responsible for his unfortunate state. And the poor man, whose head was the only part of him not bound by ropes, bit the finger violently enough to sever it. An uncommonly savage Seriously act. Special Watson, eyes. I am certain that when we have explained the reasons behind this sudden bestiality, we will have revealed a larger part of the mystery. Yeah, good, to, good to know that Watson there still... No, I can't do that. There is something written on this scalpel. I should clean it. Brush. I don't know if a brush would do that. No, I can't do that. Pretty sure a brush would not clean that off ever. No, I can't do. No, I can't do. Water now. Yeah, let's put the water on it. No, I. <laughs> ah, I can make out W C C H. What do the initials stand for? How many hospitals are there in the Whitechapel area, Watson? If we count public dispensaries. Enough to keep us busy for an entire month. Did this scalpel come from a hospital? Yes, as the initials WCCH engraved upon it show us. We must think on how best to deal with this. We do not have the time to investigate every hospital in Whitechapel. Oh! A rope. I have cut a small piece off the rope. That should be enough. Well, 
This rope is only worn on one side. I need something. A lot of fragments of black, black and damp earth. I must compare the samples of earth that I found. I must compare the samples of earth that I found. I must compare the samples of earth that I found. And if I mix this earth with another substance, water? No, I can't. Now it must all be stirred. It all be stirred. Not up. the brush, not that. No. Where's the, yeah, the brush, right? No, I can't oh, do that. The one above it. it there's nothing. There's nothing for that. Uh, I, I guess it's scalpel. Yeah. The samples of earth taken from beneath the fingernail and from the ropes originate from the same place. How do you know? It took just a little water to analyze the consistency. The soil has retained its moisture, even though there hasn't been rain in London for over a week. This soil could come from the bank of a river or somewhere where the evaporation is slower. A mine, perhaps, or a trench. The banks of the Thames are clay soil, unlike our samples, so we can rule that out. The nearest mines are a dozen miles away, so I would rule that out also. I would therefore conclude your last theory to be nearer the mark. A trench? A pit. The rock! The rock. This fragment of stone is very smooth, and it seems to be of a peculiar quality. I shall have to strip it with one of my products. No, I can't do that. Yeah, I'll just pass it over. Uh, this see. stone appears to be the same as those fa- Oh. This stone is granite covered in black paint. The fragments found in the rope and this piece of granite come from the same place. Watson, bring me your register of the London hospitals. Studying the scalpel has given you an idea then? Indeed. I'll get it. Yay, I get to go get shit. What do you get to go get? I have to get that registry. Well, yeah. in your room. I'm pretty sure it's in my room. Have you found your book? Uh, it's not in there. Your room, your room. I thought that was my room. No, that was the outside door. That's your room. All right. Or well, maybe it's up there. It's more likely it's up there and in the room, actually. Yeah, it's out. It's on that, it's on that bookshelf. Excuse me, he said your book, so... Well, I mean, there was books over there, too. Mm-hmm, check the bookshelf thing. Female anatomy. Hmm. I should put this book somewhere else. Yeah. Nah, just keep, keep it right there. Hospitals and dispensaries in London. I have found my book, Holmes. <coughs> Good. Uh, put it on the work table, will you? Here is the section showing Whitechapel. I made several notations on these pages during our investigation into the Ripper, which might prove useful. All we need to do is to find a hospital or a public dispensary near a location where pits have been dug and black granite has been used. It's simplicity itself. I haven't oh. finished my analysis. So now I suddenly got to write, write an analysis, or am I just re am I just walking away? Or... Oh, okay. All right. So the rope was worn only on one side. Okay. Only on one side. The rope was manufactured. So. No, the rope was always used for. So it had to be used on one side. It's the only way it works out. The middle one. And the damp earth brought it. Brought in by the bishop killers. of the kill of the of the killers. Soil is from the pit. So we assume the soil is from the pit, <coughs> right? Uh huh. So from those, it's either the rope using to tie a boat, it was used in a well, or something to lower something in a pit. Lower something in a pit. pit. And the grant. And then the, oh, shit. Granite, the, gra the figure in granite was painted black. Okay, so granted wall paint. So it has to be a wall. 
Oh, sorry. What was that? Oh, it just turns into that. So the soil is from a pit. And it creates a wall. Um, so it had to be came from the pit, from a pit near the monument. Right? Yeah, you will. Okay. And so from there. Either tombstone factory or from a grave. Go with the tombstone, tombstone factory. factory. And from here, the white shark clinic. There are tombstone factory, right? Try the grave. Let's try a grave. I think there's something else we're missing that's wrong. Like maybe now I can make yeah, the right it's decision. The, it's... Yeah, because this is this. Is... Who is, is smart? I haven't finished my analysis. Bastard. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. Okay, so. It's, near the, it's near a grave. It came from a grave. So. It has to be near a cemetery, correct? Watch out for cemetery. Yeah. Okay. The okay. public dispensary number 4661. It's just opposite the Whitechapel Street Cemetery. Yes, Watson. The murderer with we the missing smart. finger must yeah. work in the cemetery, or at least visit it. He could have taken a rope, one of the type they use to lower the coffins into the graves. The granite is minute particles of tombstone. And he only had to cross the road to steal a scalpel from the dispensary opposite. Yay. So, uh, what's up over this? We must analyze all our clues, Watson. Talk to him. Talk to Watson. I did. I need something. What do you need for that? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. So uh It's yellow. Is that a so I supposed to put a number in it? Yeah. What does it seem to do in it? So we put it on there. Uh-huh. And we rotate it? Yeah. Enter or something. Oh, you just click on it. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I haven't finished my analysis. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. All right. So, all right. So we gotta figure out. Hit the thing where you can read it. Yeah. Let's go from here. All right. So, how much fatality? How much red do we have? Okay, so fatality, go over. Yeah, aggressiveness. aggressiveness. Degeneration of skin tissue and muscles stimulate. stimulate. Um, I think there's going to be aggressiveness in there. So, but you also get rotated by whatever this is. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes up to five. So... Much of the fatality and wherever do you think we should put? Did it kill you know, what, let's let's do this. To, to analyze the evidence, add liquid from the test tube. Use all active agents to work out all of its characteristics. Um, let's just do this. Then. Experiment. That way. Nothing else, it's just, <coughs> just this stuff. 
Okay, what are we supposed to do? Uh, we're clicking things, and this is happening. It doesn't do anything, though. I don't get it. I really don't get this. I don't either. This is dumb. Just skip it. I think it's just a whole poison, poison but it's and just apparently stupid. very virulent. <laughs> you can't really tell how you're supposed to do that, right? No, you can't. That one's a little. It's like, oh yeah, you can just just put it together. Poison. Just hope that you got it. Discreet, happens. efficient, and only detectable via a thorough post mortem. Have you been able to come, isolate the active with, components? Like random poison. I don't know. Not with any certainty. This toxic substance oh, surpasses my own knowledge Fatality. in the field. It is without doubt the work of an expert chemist. A chemist and a criminal. As you say, please find my monograph on poisoners of the last 30 years. Back to the bookshelf. Now it's his thing. Ah, it's me. Oh God. Oh God. General practitioner. Why, that won't Why? be of any use to me. Other side of the bookshelf. Yeah. Just see the thing over there. Mm-hmm. What's that? That's the newspaper. This is this room? Maybe. Read the paper, Holmes. You're ready for it. Nope, that's the exit. There's no point in going there. There's another door over there. Everything looks the same. Do you not memorize these things? No, not really. This game. You tell me I got bad memory. I just don't care. <laughs> and therein lies the difference. Ah, uh, huge difference, actually. Nope. This book. No. I don't think it's in here. It's the only thing that shows up. Okay. It must be, uh, it must be very close. Maybe it's on my desk over by the window. Oh, it looks like something under there. Or not. <laughs> Nothing! And this is... Get something given something that's straight up on his desk. Maybe. Alright, seriously, these controls are ridiculous. Holmes is home. Okay. Oh, what According to these documents, Hans Schielman, known as the Rat Killer. <laughs> Was considered the greatest specialist in chemical <laughs> poison weird. in the world. Literally just walked around. Is he at liberty? Happily, no. He has been held in the high security wing of London's Westgate prison for many years it, now. Then he cannot be the one who concocted the poison. Don't dismiss him too quickly, Watson. According to Scotland Yard, the man is exceptionally intelligent. For the greatest criminals, prison is but a mere obstacle. Let's plan a little visit to see Mr. Shieldman tomorrow. Yeah, let's go visit a dead person. He's not dead. He's a killer. So he's a dead person. Dead man walking! <laughs> I Are cannot leave now. Stuff? Oh. Kind of. So why did I get up? Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Oh. Well, let's do this. Come in. Come in. No? <laughs> Alright, going back to the deduction board. All right, so oh finger. God. So the bishop not himself. The finger was torn from the aggressor's finger, aggressor's finger off his thing, but he also not himself. So 
He thought he's aggressive. I'm gonna go with that so far. Yeah. Poison. Uh, and the poison he contains is poison. Poison there. The murderers made the bishop drink drink his own contents. If that's true. Mad. Yeah, he went mad. That's what makes so much sense. Yeah. Perfect. Because like, well because, done, like, Watson. He made him drink Our it, board so is finished. It confirms that the bishop's murderers work for one person, who, amongst other things, possesses a very sophisticated poison. They therefore act for someone more educated than themselves. Educated. You remember Wiggins educated. and his gang, educated. the Baker Street Irregulars? Yes, we the street urchins, no whom you employ upon occasion, and Wiggins is their leader. Yes. Well, well, I have hired their services again. I have instructed them to find out the address of the bishop's nephew. I think he's here. You right? Hello, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, my young friend, have you found the information for which the good Dr. Watson is going to pay you? Yes, Mr. Holmes, it was easy. Very well, I understand. Here are a few pennies. Thanks, Dr. Watson. The man you're looking for lives near Kensington. Does he live alone? Yes, but he rents a room for an old lady. Did she see you? No, Mr. Holmes. No one saw me. Perfect. Watson, give our young friend another shilling as a reward for his discretion. Here we go again. But of course... Yeah, hey, Watson, you're such a bitch. I'm falling asleep, Holmes. Aren't you tired? No, I have an exceptional constitution. I can't remember ever having been fatigued by work. Idleness, on the other hand, exhausts me completely. Go to bed, Watson. The night will be short. We leave at dawn. And we leave right now because we gotta take a break. Wow, this is yeah, a you real adventure. Yeah, we're gonna crash too. I like it better than made-up stories. Where is this made-up story? I want to know what we're happens next. Bed now. Keep reading. I'm going to. Well. Yeah, we're done. Yay, oh, thanks for following I us. I wanna listen to... I do a lot of streams, actually. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. We'll be back around eventually. My readers must excuse me if I do not describe in full detail... Thank you, Dingo! We love the terrible Dingo! terrible images which Yay. haunted me that night. I had a sense that something extraordinary would take place, but I was scarcely prepared for the reality of it.